Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm here with my daring wife, Laura. Would you believe there is a Who Dares Wins board game? With uh, Mike, Whitney and... Tanya Zayeta were yeah. the two hosts. So this was an Australian TV show for anyone watching from overseas who is not familiar with it. Um, you could probably guess what the game's about or the show's about from a Who Dares Win. So basically... It was a game show, sort of. Sort of. So basically <laughs> uh, Mike and the other bird went around uh, for small dares. They went around the streets and dared people to do things like eat a whole onion in you know a minute and they got a hundred bucks or you know hop on one leg through the city or just just little small little dares. dares and things not not all of them were quite that small no there were some medium ones as um, well but you could win money there was always one massive dare at the end where they someone would dob in one of their friends or colleagues and they'd go around to their house and get them to do like skydiving or something much bigger yeah and yeah. they could win i think for the time like quite a bit of money it was yeah like ten thousand or something i don't know i don't remember the um thing. this was uh, I think this was back in the mid 90s mid, 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 mid to late 90s yeah as you yeah. can see from the channel 7 logo for all australians that's the old old one <laughs> old one yeah <laughs> um so we're not going to play it because it's well, you'll see why we're not going to play it when you have a look at the there's dares in here yeah um but we're going to show you and then just have a look at it all so the rules are actually on the back of the box because it's a very simple game it is fairly simple. The idea is to end with the most money that you can by the end of the day, a game by doing as many dares as possible. And, well, we might go through that when we actually take the cards down. It actually down. says on the back, um, it says, uh, all major dares, do not perform any of the major dares, they're only performed on the show underneath the control. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh damn, I've got to go sky, it's like, well, I've got to go skydiving. Oh, all right, see you guys. Part of the board <laughs> game. All right, so just quickly, we have basic moving pieces. Yeah, they're just, you know, it's a regular six-sided yeah, die. So you can, you can have those over there. We have money, which... Well, it's paper money. Yeah. Um, so we have one hundred dollars. Must be some others in here somewhere. One thousand dollars and five hundred dollars. So just basic sort of design there. And what I'll do is I'll get the board out because I just want to flip the. Um, Give me the the, the box instructions. Because he actually explains what each card is and all that. Yeah. Um. So we so, have street dares, which I believe are the small, uh, small money dares. Uh, not really. So basically, you just go around the board. We should just mention. Um, yeah, open the board. Yeah. So you, you just move around the board, and it, it's totally based on what you land on, what happens in the game. And I will. I'll, before you go on, I will mention this is one ugly board. I. It's <laughs> I'm that, not it's, a fan of the it's, design. It's, that, it's that sort of really dodgy CGI from the '90s, and oh, it's awful. Go on. Yeah, it's not a very appealing uh, board to look at. Um, so every player starts with $3,000, so mm -hmm. quite a bit of money. You can actually <laughs> lose money in this, we should mention. It's not just about winning it. No. And um, so, as I said, when you start moving, it's just based on what you land on. So there's a thumbs up symbol, like this one, thumbs up. Um, with those, you pick up your street dares that you've got, and if everyone agrees that you've done whatever dare is on the card, you get $200 from every other player. Hang on, let's just admire, focus, the camera's Ooh, doing that's for... some interesting text. Yeah, look, look at that <laughs> font. That is god-awful font. <laughs> so this one is, oh, they really doesn't want to focus. Yodel for 15 seconds, win or lose 200. So yeah. this is a team game, so basically... It's not a team well, game. Uh, sorry, it's, it's best played with groups of people. Yes. Because the people you're playing with actually determine... They have to agree whether you've completed it or not. I just said that before yeah, so, you turned the card over. <laughs> um, if you're playing with wonderful people who are narcissistic or you just don't like, um, it's going to be a rough time for you. You can just say, no, I don't think you did that. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, if, you, if everyone agrees that you haven't completed the dare, then you have to pay everyone $200. So you could be out of money real quick. Yeah, so well, you, you really need to play this with people who are willing to go all the way and go for the dares on the cards. Yes. Otherwise, it's not going to be much so fun. It, it, it's two to six players. So if you've got six players and you lose, you're going to lose 1200 bucks. That's like, you know... Well, no, because one of the six players is you. You do make a very valid <laughs> point. Um, now, the next space we have is the uh, eye here. It's looking at us. I that see you. <laughs> that gets you a try your luck card, which you just have to follow the instructions of. Veto card. Ah, now there's a few veto cards in there. If you get one of those, you can be exempt from the next person who wins a major dare. So if they collect, then you don't have to pay them the money. All right, let's let's just pick one that's not a veto yeah. card. Move back 
to the player behind you and play that square. If you're the last player, move back three spaces. Mm. So you just go one rotation around the board. Like there's a start finish space over here. And so when you get to... <laughs> Bad luck, start again. <laughs> wow. Um, when you get to the finish of the first player who finishes, then you just stop and you have to count out your money and see so who's won. So if you happen to be one of the players that rolls really large numbers and gets to the end before anyone's even halfway around, then... Well, you probably haven't landed on much and probably haven't made much money. No, so, so you might not want to go too quick. Not that you have a choice with, <laughs> no. you know, dice roll. Well, what wonderful um, cards do we have? So next we have a money space, which are little money bags with coins. So they're and they are the major dare cards. So you pick it up, read the dare or dare not. If you are a legend, collect $500 from each player. And if you've wimped out, then you have to pay everyone $500. Golf tee, lie down, place a golf tee in your mouth with the ball firmly in place. Then let our professional loose with a full-blooded drive. Yeah, um, they're weird ones. <laughs> Some of these dares we should mention. Uh, hell Hella bungee? Deep down, you're a frustrated bungee jumper. However, you did not expect to be... It to be from a helicopter 1,000 one metres above the city. I really am not a fan of this font. No, <laughs> they're a bit awkward to read. Um, anyway, so that's the money card. So that's the way you get the biggest amount of money from those. Uh, next we have a safe space, which are these ones with the big arrows, which you just get $100. Nothing yep. else happens. You're safe! Exciting. <laughs> and the last one is miss a turn, which, you know... What do you do on that one? <laughs> well, you can actually pay all players $100, or you can lose your turn. So there is a choice there. But, you know, um, I mean, the whole idea is to make mm. money, so I'm not sure if you're playing, you know, six people... In no. giving them all a hundred dollars instead of losing a turn. Probably not your best Probably choice. Probably not great. Um, that's it. It's a fairly basic one. Um, as I said, whoever gets to the end, that's the end of the game. Whoever gets there first. And from there, yeah, you just count up your money and see who's won. Dare or not. That's the, um, the one that determines the major street dares, is Yes. It? Yeah. Yeah, so those major street ones you don't actually have to do. If you pick up a You're a Legend card, then you get the 500. I assume it's like you're done. Or Wimped something. Out is the other one. Uh, so obviously the major ones in this are going to be the street dares, which is what you're going to... Because they're the ones you actually have to do to yes. win money. So you might find yourself getting up and jumping around, making weird noises. I think we had yodeling was the one you turned over before. So definitely, as I said, not a game for people who don't want to participate. Well, how about we just read out a couple? Since we're not going to actually play the game, we'll give you a taste of some of the wonderful, wonderful So these things. are the street ones you've given yep. me. Okay. Uh, do 10 push-ups in 30 seconds. Well, that's, that's not too bad. Walk around the room and pretend that you've gone crazy. Well, you'd be easy for that one. Tell us your middle name. That's an easy one to earn some money. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, upside down. Wiggle your ears on your own. Well, that's just unfair, because I can't physically do that. No, I can't wiggle mine either. What colour underwear are you wearing? <laughs> that's just a question. Ah. Show us your belly button. Mm. Okay. Whistle one verse of any recognisable song. Postman Pat. Mm -hmm. That's not whistling. I can't whistle. <laughs> Name the co-host of Who Dares Wins. Yeah, well, we, we did that at the start. Uh, count backwards from 21 to 1, odd numbers only, without stopping. Well... Well, well, that's gone. <laughs> act like a monkey. Fair enough. Spin around ten times and jump forward twice. Cackle like a witch. Ew, good at that. <laughs> and balance a pencil on your nose. Name five superheroes. So, as you can see, they're pretty varied, the dares. Um, and how about we just read a couple dares of... Dares and questions, I guess. A couple of the major ones. You just read a couple. Hang on. Nathan can't even find them. There's actually not too many of the um, the major dares. No, I don't think there's as many um, money bag sort of spaces as there are thumbs up spaces. Drag racing. We have taped the accelerator pedal to the floor. The minute you release the clutch, you're in for the ride of your life. That doesn't seem very safe at all. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> Cockro uh, cockroach. <laughs> cockroach. Cockroach eating. You've always wondered what they taste like. Now is your chance. So we are not going to put the instructions down below, I should Because they're mention. on the back of the box. And chances are, if you've found this, it probably has the box with it. Um, but if you enjoyed watching, uh, give us a thumbs up. Let us know, did you watch the show in the 90s or have you played the board, gra board game? Did you even know it existed? Hit subscribe and check out the link down below to our food review channel. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.